Howdy. My name is Aaron Boster. Uh, thanks for tuning in for this impromptu educational opportunity brought to you by Ohio Health MS Center. Today I want to speak to you about healthy habits and specifically I'd like to talk about beating heat sensitivity in MS. On a recent uh, broadcast we talked about the pathologic underpinnings of MS heat sensitivity and I'd encourage you to log on and watch that. Uh, suffice it to say that many, many of our MS patients find that they dwindle when it gets too hot outside. Uh, when they get overheated because they have a UTI, uh, because it's August, uh, because they've been jogging, and their body heats up, it short circuits. Uh, they may find that they become profoundly fatigued, their leg gets weak, they go blind in their eye again. A myriad of bad things can happen. Now, I'm uh, broadcasting this from Columbus, Ohio. It's August and it is hot. And so I think it's very relevant to talk about some tricks and tips, some healthy behaviors to beat the heat. Number one. We have to plan our activities. So if you need to mow your lawn, don't wait until noon on Saturday. The sun is high, it's hot out, it's the wrong time. We have to play smarter, not harder. And so to use the lawn example, maybe mow the front half of your lawn Saturday morning before the sun comes all the way out, and then Sunday morning mow the back half of the lawn before the sun comes out. We have to plan activities, particularly outside activities, in the beginning of the day and in the end of the day to avoid the summer heat, particularly the, the middle of the day heat. That's the first tip. The second one is you can do things to actively cool your body. If you have an option uh, to go outside, then you could throw on a cooling vest. Now, cooling vests uh, can be obtained from the MS Association of America. That's MSAA. And if you contact the MSAA, uh, they can help you get a cooling vest. You can also find them online. They're not fancy. It's, it looks like a fishing vest, and it's got pockets where you put cold packs. And what those pockets do against your skin is they cool down your core body temperature. Uh, and so I would certainly look into getting a cooling vest. Sometimes you can get like a cooling rag or scarf or other cooling devices that can help keep you cool despite being out in the summer heat. An easy way to do that is to chug ice water. I would not go outside in the summer heat unless I had ice water that I could be drinking. Ice water and cooling vests are ways of trying to address that. What else can be done? There's a medicine that's available. It's called Ampira. Uh, the real name is Formenoperidine, and it requires a prescription. And so I would encourage you to talk to your clinician, your MS provider, about whether or not that medicine might help you. It seems to work in about a third of patients, and when it works, you're buttressed against heat sensitivity. So my name's Aaron Boster. Thank you for tuning in to this brief, but hopefully informative educational opportunity, talking about heat sensitivity to MS. A quick review. You can choose to go outside during strategic times when it's not as hot out. When you are outside, use things like cooling devices. Uh, use things like cold ice water to cool your body down. And the third thing to talk about with your provider is whether or not a medicine like 4-amino would help you. Thank you. Have a great day.